everyone, so today's video is going to be a very exciting one which is a tack room tour and kind of like a renovation process and um, it's taken about a month to like finally complete it all it's all done apart from the windows because obviously it's been locked down so you couldn't get like a window guy to come out um, but yeah just ignore the windows but yeah other than that it's all looking really nice and obviously we're very very grateful that we could have such a lovely big tuck room um, on our yard so yeah I hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe and comment so we're just walking to the tuck room now wait that was really exposed so here are the two doors here which are padlocked and there's like obviously lots of security cctv two guard dogs double locked like it's all very secure which is obviously nice to know so we have here our whip thing what is that thing that Chimney. chimney thing they're in. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Now a very, very nice hat stand and hat collection. So we've got both of mine and Molly's Miss Shields at the top, which are competition hats. And then we've got my mum's um, Sam Shield, my old Sam Shield, which is for sale, but I'll put some more info in somewhere else. And then my dad's Sam Shield and then Molly's training hat. Training hat. <laughs> yeah, so that is the oh, door. Email up. Oh yeah. So that's the door to the um, tack room, but you're not allowed to see that yet, so sorry. That's classified. Um, and then this is the tack room. You've just ruined those plumped cushions. Okay, so this rug used to be in our old house down in London, but obviously didn't have a really a use for it. And I think it actually goes quite well, to be fair. But yeah, so we've got a sofa here where you can just chill. And then we've got the um, table and chairs where you can meet people and just like sit around and meet talk people? with. Who are we meeting? <laughs> where you can sit around and talk to people because when we have our holiday liveries, um, they can just come in here and chill and yeah. And then you may be actually thinking, is that a whiteboard? But it's not. It is a radiator. It will keep this room warm, but it's like um, very eco-friendly and stuff. So yeah. And then moving on into the kitchen. We have a hot and cold sink, and then we have our horsey washing machine. So we'll put all of our numbers and rugs and stuff in if they need to wash for a competition. Mum got some cutlery, and I don't know why there's a random pencil in there, but yeah. And then this is our like, this is our mini snack drawer. We haven't got much in it yet, but <laughs> going shopping today. I mean tomorrow, so yeah. And then this is our microwavable oven thing we actually were going to have that in the horse box but um it was too big and it was too heavy so we kept it and now we've put it there really yeah and then this is our fridge we've got cans of drink what mm -hmm. did she get she got cloudy lemonade ginger beer and some pepsi all oh, right it's a bad choice and then this is cool bin i mean look it just opens like a normal bin do you like my funky socks um, but this little thing, I don't know, actually know how to work it, but you can lock it so your dogs and animals can't get in it. And then we've got a little radio and some glasses up the top. And then yeah, this... Oopsie! Sound cream fell out. <laughs> that door opens out into the, uh, in my dad's workroom. And then in, in this, if you'd like to see the grand reveal. Oh. oh. So in here we've got Sudocrem. I don't know why we need three pots of Sudocrem, but yeah, some hippie scrub, surgical spirit. I don't know what that's used for. Um, some sun cream and some Vaseline, a poultice and skysers. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got plating stuff. I don't think we've ever actually used this and we've had it for about six years. <laughs> Yeah. Sparkle, we're, we're gonna get copyrighted. Yeah, you singing. will. Our all-time favourite shampoo um, for our horses, comes the grey ones. Pot, so it comes in a pot, and you can get a little soap bar. They're actually designed for the feathers of Shire's horses, our horses. And then, oh, this is really good as well. Don't put too much in it though, because you'll turn your horse blue because it's really concentrated. Then we got our amazing treats that we got sent, and the horses literally adore them. The hoof stuff. And then all the hoof stuff. And I got this from Ponytails Official on Instagram. I mean, she has a shop, but that's her, what her Instagram's called. And um, it's a hoof balm, and it's really, really good. A little goes a long way. And then moving on to the inside, we have all of our vet wraps, syringes, duct tapes, measuring tapes. 
pepper spray, like you name it, we have it on that rack. <laughs> and like and then, medical stuff down there, like gels yeah. and stuff, which we've been using for Luna's wound. She's an action prone. Yeah. Then our homemade fly spray and some NAF fly spray that we had left over, some sheath cleaning, just basically everything that you have for your horse who foil. And then we got this really cool purple syringe. Oh, this is that, um, is this called a maze? Oh yeah, yeah. it um, gets hair out of numbness, which is clever. I don't know why it's in here, but. And then cling film for, for um, mud fever. Yeah. And then if you close that, if we open this drawer, we have all of our high vis, human high vis. We do have like, some jackets, like more high vis, but I don't know where that's gone. We'll find it. Oh, there's probably nothing in there. Is it's, it? like, <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> Literally, clippers. Oh, <laughs> clippers and. We have so much storage. Oh, old plaques. Is there anything in there? Yeah. Just like flour. Oh, there you go. And like flour. my equiclusive brushes. That Where do we get that from? <laughs> it's from like headquarters. From, um, I've got these from Royal Windsor. Royal Windsor. They're for growing water. But yeah, so that is the whole tack room. And now we're going to move on to. <laughs> now move on to the um, main, bit. main bit. So we go into the main tack area. We need to set the scene. We need to set the scene. We've got a light there, but guys, wait for this. Ready? Dun dun dun. Hang on, I like that. Okay, let's put it. Oh, that is cool. Oh, okay. Turn this light off. Do we? Do we really need to turn that light off? Oh, Tiggy Wig. He's like just submerged in the sofa. Chicky! Yeah, Say hello to all your viewers. Oh, <laughs> he's so adorable. My little kitty. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, that is cool. We haven't turned the main light on. We will, are we going to turn the main light on yeah, a little bit? These are LED lights that go along the whole side. And they do, yeah, so there's a remote and you can obviously make it multicolored if you like. Do you want to make it, multi make it so it goes, so it switches? Oh, not that erratic, Ella. Um, 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 no, make it like so slowly it fade, oh. like that. No, you had it, Ella, no. you literally <laughs> had it on the slow fade one. I don't know how to get it back on anyway. Oh, look. I think you're... Three, fade. Yeah, that's cool, leave that. So yeah, there you go. There are the LED lights. Okay, let me just close this door. My kitty. <laughs> so along here we have our bridles. There is gonna be another bridle there. She's coming in the post. Not like we don't have enough bridles. I think we have about 12 or 13 bridles for seven horses. So this bridle here is Jarvis's one that he doesn't use at the moment. She's got a universal. It's his training one. This is competition bridle, which yeah. we were kindly gifted by Ponytail's official. It's got um, the, no <laughs> the nose band and the brow band actually um, avoid all the pressure points on the horse's it, face. It's pro shaped, so it's got this shape to it. I don't know if you can see. It's really, really lovely. It's got absolutely gorgeous stitching on it. And it's Those actually, new saddle really well. yeah, and it's uh, only 50 pounds, which is pretty good. I think it's like 55 euros though. So this is my lovely bridle that was kindly gifted to me by Ponytails Official on Instagram. We will leave a link in the description box to where you can find these. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I believe on my on our Instagram accounts, Morning Show Jumping and Go Ponies, we will have a giveaway. I don't think it will be with one of these, but it will be of some with some lovely products. Um, but yeah, they stay stock over 2,000 horse products. So if you need anything, just literally pop them a message on Instagram and they will probably have it. So this is Luna's other bridle, it's just a caverson. I don't use a flash. Well, this is obviously a Miklum, so it goes around the mouth. Um, that's just on there, but I, it won't be used. Um, and she's just got a universal for her jumping one with these Acavala bit guards. Um, and then her... Micklin Bridal, which I school her in with a equilibrium nose net because she was quite sensitive to the pollen this year. 
so I bought one. Um, and this is her new show, Vivendi bit. V v I don't know what it's called. V Vivendi. V v no, Vivendi. Vivendi. <laughs> Whatever that's called. Uh, Dora's old bridal, but you might have seen that she actually goes in Hackamore now because she's really, really good in Hackamore. Um, Thomas's bridal, which was Leah's old Micklem. She's a Micklem of stitching with a full cheek snaffle. Um, Martin girl attached to there, and then we have Logan's bridal again with a. Snaffle, egg white snaffle. Um, some boot bags down there, and then over here we just have some girths. We did intend for these to fit on, but the buckle was too small, so I couldn't actually squeeze them on the hook. And then, obviously, like I told you in the intro, the windows are going to be changed when the guy can come out. So, this is our bit wall. Um, We've always wanted one of these. Yeah, we have. They just look really cool, don't they? So, obviously, we have most of them are snaffles, as you can see. So. Hanging cheek snaffle, egg white snaffles, loose ring snaffles, rubber straight bar. Right, this we have we've only used once because I think I was about ten and we went to the beach with Leah, um, and I didn't know what she'd be like because obviously I'd never been to the beach before. So we put her in that just on the safe side in case she you know didn't pelt off with a ten year old kid on her back. But she was absolutely fine. Um, again, never used that. Um, and yeah, just some nautical bags because that's what our bits came in and we like to save them. And then we just have like training things here. And then because we obviously don't have like, how many saddle racks do we have? 12? Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, eleven. And we only have seven saddles because we have seven horses. So there's a few spare for holiday liveries if they come up. So we've just draped some stud girths over there, another girth. Some so we're not using it at the moment, and then this girth, which is actually for sale, I've never used it, didn't fit. Marked on stud girth if anyone's interested. Then we have our wet equilibrium, um, massage pad, and then all of our saddles. So Logan's GP, Luna's Amerigo jump saddle, Thomas's. well, Thomas's and Luna's GP because it fits Thomas, luckily. Uh, dressage saddle, just about dusty dressage saddle. Uh, Leah's pony no, jump. Is that's it? blazer, isn't is it? it? Yes. Oh, blazer's a pony jump. Kenna Master pony jump saddle. That's Leah's pony jump saddle up there. And Ella's new jump saddle, <laughs> which she loves. Okay, so I'm just gonna go show you what's in these boxes because we have so much storage, um, more than we need actually. So in this cupboard, we have a load of leather. So like leather reins, uh, martingales, nose bands, and in there we just have like a hole puncher and some more bit guards. Then in this cupboard, oh, dear me, we have um, loads of turnout bits and bobs. So tons of turnout boots, mainly my equilibrium. Um, and yeah, and like overreaches and stuff in there. Moving on. And then this one we have uh, training boots, so kind of like just brushing boots and support boots, and those are the Equilibrium Impact Sport boots for cross country. And we have more Equilibrium boots down there, and just literally like 20 million pairs of boots, and like fluffy ones and stuff. And like we have little boots down there, and then Equilibrium massage pad. In this one, we have our show boots and kind of like nicer ones, which you don't want to use every single day. So Equilibrium ones down there, Veridus ones, Veridus back boots, Amur back boots, overreaches, two pairs of brown Lemure and like two pairs of black Lemure ones. And then in this one, we have therapy products. So we have, I think there's some stable chaps under there. Yeah, so like just stable chaps and then Magnetic stable chaps, and then hind and hook magnetic stable chaps. And then in this one, when we have a ton of lunging stuff, let me just put that back. So, like lunging rug, roller, side reins, rope training aid, this is like two persuaders in here. Basically, like a ton of stuff, and like bungees and side reins and whatnot. Few more to go, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> and this one, oh, this is she's have like free fly masks in it. Moving on swiftly. 
And then in here we have uh, travel items, so quarter guards and tail guards and pole um, guard and like a towel bandage because we have greys and they peel in their tails and it's horrible. And then high vis, so like a ton of high vis in there. Like I think they're exercise sheets. And hats, so I think we have like seven hats in there. Um, it's just like cross country hats, so skull caps. Um, and our old hats, which we don't sell. And then in here we have more exercise sheets. We do have some more like somewhere else. Like this isn't all of our stuff because I don't even know where half of it is. And then some fly bells in there. But you can tell we don't have that many fly bells. We have like three in there. And then in this one, we just have loads of half pads um, and like shims and stuff. I don't know where the pro light's gone. And like a seat saver there. Two Lemur half pads, which we don't use anymore, only for um, Thomas' saddle, just because he needs something a bit thicker because it wasn't fitted to him because he's a project. But these are the best half pads on the market. You probably hear me going about them all the time because they're absolutely amazing. But yes. And then that's it in the cupboards. Oh, silly me, for this one. In here we just have quite a few um, body protectors. I don't know why that took so long to come out of my mouth. And then like an air jacket and then travel boots at the bottom. But if you're in America, I think you call them shipping boots. But yes, that is all of that. So it's all the storage. We have tons <laughs> of storage. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, and we've always wanted this in our um, tack room. Like we've always wanted to hang our numbers in this way. So this is what it looks like: saddle pads. And we, we it's like a shop. Yeah, it is. We have like loads of green and brown. We do have more saddle pads, but we didn't have enough um, hangers, so we just had, kind of had to leave it. Um, and we just put two show head collars on the end. So some is this, is this oval star? The show head colour. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then like a fluffy one. Oh, and up there we have wraps. Because yeah. my dad designed it so there was like even more storage right at the top. Guys, so it's just like loads of wraps. I have a confession. Oh my god. They I, are, did, I okay. didn't want you to see these. <laughs> I used to put blaze in these. When she was and like. did not appreciate Really it. young. So yeah, they can set the back. Bunk Okay, yeah, so all of our set of hands, I just really want to do this. Okay, cool. I'm done now. <laughs> and then on this wall, we just have some more bridles. So we have Leah's bridles. And then we have like a few breastplates behind the bridles, which need to be sold. So if you're looking for a breastplate, then hit me up. Um, yeah, Leah's one. And then Hackamore, which Dora arrives in at the moment. And then Blaze's little one with just our female snaffle. So yeah, that is the bridle wall. So we forgot to film a proper outro, so here's me saying I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, it'd really help us out. Uh, we want to make lots of content in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.